This is John Costa, the editor of Citizens Eye, and I'm here with Mohamed Pafan. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Now, Mohamed, we're catching up with you because uh, it's been two weeks since the elected mayor campaign or um, election here in Leicester, uh, and you stood uh, as one of the independent candidates at the age of 18. Were you the youngest candidate? Uh, yes, I was the youngest candidate to ever stand in a mayoral election in the country. Okay, in the whole of the UK? Yeah. Excellent. So how did you enjoy the whole experience? Um, I thought it was a brilliant experience um, working alongside uh, such experienced politicians like um, Sir Pete Sursby, who is the new mayor, and um, Gary Hunt and Councillor Grant. And it was a really good experience. I got to learn a lot how um, local governance is um, governed and how um, the new mayoral system will change, how everything's been running for the few years. It was a really exciting journey. Um, it was brilliant meeting all the people and discussing what the issues are. One of the things that um, really surprised me was the amount of people who feel disenfranchised by the whole system and don't feel part of it. So I think that's going to be the biggest challenge for the new mayor now, to make up and feel more part of the whole system. So did you enjoy all of the hustings? Because they were about, us. Oh, I think there must have been about nine or ten in the end. I think I lost track, but it was actually quite a lot. And there was some real sort of, um, sort of searching questions and people were obviously quite passionate. Uh, about asking the questions and, um, and feeling they want to hold people to account and maybe maybe not even necessarily getting the answer. Did you enjoy the experience? Yeah, I think the hustings were brilliant. I enjoyed every part of the hustings. Um, I think usually in elections you only get to hear about um, what the candidates say through their um, leaflets and election flyers, but this whole um, thing about the hustings was quite good because you could hear in depth about each um, candidate and what they stood for and what they believed in. I think um, the best thing about the Hustings was um, listening to what the people had to say and what they wanted to see different in the city. So it was a brilliant experience um, getting to meet people from all different communities and different backgrounds, whether it was, um, different ethnicities, different sexualities and all sorts. Um, much of the focus what was on uh, the Hustings was um, the two big ones, the one in DMU and the Curve one. But um, even the small ones, which citizens I covered, like the LGBT Husting and um, the Action um, homeless ones, they were really good as well because there were some really good conversations that happened there where people really put their issues onto the table and asked the candidates what they do. So I think it was a really good experience to meet different people and learn what the issues are and what they think is not doing so well in the city. What's been quite good as well is when we co-hosted the one with Action Homeless, which you know, I was really grateful to the CEO, Rob Parkinson, for doing. I remember at the end holding all of the candidates to account and saying, look, you know, would you carry on doing these kind of things if you become elected? And they all kind of agreed. And, and it's good to see that um, the new mayor, Peter Salisbury, has actually agreed yeah. to kind of hold these series of sort of one-day um, meetings and stuff like that to find out about uh, stuff. And again, I think one of, them, one of the first ones is going to be homelessness. Do you think these kind of things, going out and asking people what they think and, and how they want to see services run for them, really just proves that people do know what they want and what the issues are? Politicians just need to engage them a little bit more to find out. Yep, um, what I believe is um, the hustings have been uh, really good in showing how successful it can be when done in the right way. I think um, it needs to be implemented on all levels. So even local councillors hold these type of uh, mini hustings in their areas to speak to their um, ward constituents because um, we have like um, surgeries on a regular basis for councillors as well, but they're um, not as um, well attended as some of these hustings were. And um, it's the whole thing about reinvigorating the whole uh, political, local political process. And I think um, it's good to see that Sir Peter has committed to um, carry on doing these type of things because it's the best way to find out what um, the needs of the people are. Like I've said before, um, our services are no longer one size fits all, so we need to find out what um, the needs of the people are to be able to deliver to them. So I think the hustings give a brilliant way for um, the public to have an open and honest dialogue with the mayor and um, not only hold them to account, but also to um, tell them what they want to see and what they agree with maybe and what they want to see different. Okay, so what's next for Muhammad Pathan? Um, ex-former youngest mayoral candidate here in Leicester? Um, well, I'm back to college, uh, finishing my A-levels at the minute and um, still carrying on with all the um, political stuff I used to do in my free time at UK Youth Parliament. Um, I'm going to Leeds in July for a three-day annual sitting where the um, uh, an annual agenda and the manifesto for UK Youth Parliament will be redrawn up for the next um, political year going from this July up to next July. And which will then have an annual debate in the House of Parliament again in October. So, 
Yeah. It'll probably be on Sky News again. Uh, it'll be on BBC Padma again live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Excellent. So, uh, are you back at the uh, UK Youth Parliament meetings and the YPC and things like that? Have you slipped back into that? Yeah, um, I'm back at the UK Youth Parliament and um, the YPC. Uh, we've got our meeting next um, next Tuesday, where um, uh, my first thing going back will be to. Um, hold a referendum on the current voting system used for electing YPC reps, which as soon as I got back to YPC, I asked for um, if I could have that referendum. So hopefully I'll be campaigning for AV um, as a method used for electing youth council reps in Leicester as well. And um, there's also a referendum on the current members of um, youth parliament to um, replace the um, non-existing members and vacant seats with um, candidates who want to fulfill the role fully with commitment. Okay, can we see you standing in a, any by-elections here for a city councillor in the city at um, some point in the next 12 months if one comes up? Uh, well, it's a bit early to say, but uh, it'd be surely something I'd look into, so yeah, you'll okay. see me around. Yeah, or are you going to scoot off to London and you're now a Westminster man and we've lost you to some of the big parties? Um, no, I don't think so. I'll be um, shying away from local politics that easily. I think I've got um, a lot of ambition about doing stuff locally, so at the minute I'm in this. Mohammed, well done. I Thank thought you, you had a really good campaign. I know a lot of people were interested and voted for you as well. I think their second votes as well as their... Um, how many people voted you for their first vote? Um, there's around 1,400. Very good. Excellent. Not bad for your first time out. No, that's no? Good. Yeah. So you enjoyed the experience? Yeah, I think the best thing was um, that um, not finishing last as I thought I would. Uh, somewhere I had the feeling that I didn't want to finish last and I didn't, so that was quite good. And um, what was really encouraging to see our current mayor, Sir Pete Sulsby, um uh, endorsing me as his second uh, preference and he's even recently again said in an interview that he was really proud of my campaign and the fact that I come from the constituency which he represented in Parliament. So that's Excellent, great. well done. Thank you very much for Thank agreeing you. to talk to us.